Welcome to the ASCG Spring Meeting and the GCPS. My name is Leo Chen, I'm the Meeting Program Chair. I'm here in the Orlando, Florida, and sitting next to me is uh, Boulder Davis with Boston State University. She just uh, finished the first ever uh, cybersecurity undergraduate uh, education panel section. We we'll talk about the, the need to educate chemical engineer and transition to improve the knowledge of cybersecurity. So welcome, Boulder. So uh, could you enlighten us about uh, to the ICT audience a, a little bit about why cybersecurity is important to you? Mm -hmm. uh, so cyber uh, security of critical infrastructure has been a hot topic for a while, and we have seen uh, several uh, attacks from um, domestic attacks and, and uh, foreign attacks. Um, and as we know, uh, bad guys have been uh, learning how to um, attack industrial control systems. And as a result of that, uh, it is important for asset owners and uh, engineers and uh, to also uh, be up to date on uh, how we can basically attack uh, industrial control system. Why is it important to uh, learn about hacking uh, industrial control system? The reason is that uh, if you want to protect the uh, chemical plants or critical infrastructures, uh, one way is that you will uh, implement all the blankets or best practices that is out there and create a layered defense. However, that needs a, a phenomenal a budget, which is not usually available for security. Um, for that reason, uh, we, um, uh, the security experts basically uh, recommend that uh, you uh, customize the security defense mechanism based on the uh, systems that you have, the infrastructure that you have, and based on the basically physical and engineering requirements of the specific processes. Um, so that's why it's important to know about uh, cybersecurity, about hacking, about uh, control uh, systems, and uh, all the so cybersecurity um, needs that needs to go with it. So Hoda, can you tell us about the importance of educating our young generation of engineers about cybersecurity? And can you touch on some of the uh, hand-on industrial cybersecurity training that are available? Absolutely. So um, the next generation of uh, work enforcement, uh, if you go to any uh, cybersecurity conferences nowadays, uh, such as Black Hat or DEF CON, they have a, an ICS village section that they will provide hands-on uh, training on how you can hack into the PLC and all of that. Uh, and uh, for chemical engineers, mechanical engineering, cybersecurity is for everybody. It's, uh, it has uh, been a problem, it's a multidisciplinary uh, problem, and uh, computer scientists, um, chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, everybody needs to collaborate on this uh, in order to be able to um, create a, a very good defense mechanism. So uh, I, will, I will ask uh, the young uh, students or young workforce out there, engineers, to uh, pay a little bit more attention to the conferences, the security conferences, there are many local conferences, and there are a more uh, popular uh, security conferences. The big one is Black Hat and DEF CON, which has become a hackathon, and they do take uh, into the consideration hardware hacking training, firmware hacking, and, uh, and all of that, so which are, those are good resources. So we're really happy to see that we have many young engineers attending the ASCG Spring Meeting and GCPS uh, this year right here in Orlando. So to wrap up, uh, do you have some advice that you want to share with the young professional who want to work in the cybersecurity area? Absolutely. So um, nowadays we have been talking about uh, red team, uh, blue team, red team being able to um, see how we can do penetration testing. How we can drive our control, uh, so red team is how we can hack it, how we can change the control logic and make it to do something that is not supposed to do, right? So the controller basically is your software and then you have the hardware part of it, which is a, this the, a network of sensors which sends information to the, to the controller and the controller basic, basically makes real-time decision and basically deals with a series of actuators. 
So uh, it would be good for the uh, workforce or engineers uh, to get their hands dirty, try uh, purchase a small PLC and try uh, to uh, hack into it. And when you do that, then you can go to the blue team and basically defend uh, how you can uh, come up with the mechanism that uh, prevent a hacker from getting into the uh, enterprise network and from there to the uh, production network. Uh, so it's just everybody when you do write your control logic, uh, make sure that you are writing it with and designing the logic around security. And when you're designing the uh, production network and the processes, have security in mind. And uh, that, that would be that would be my advice. Thank you, Hulda. I certainly learned something new about second. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.